40,000 runners through all five boroughs of the city. And for Bronx residents, when you've got that many people coming through your neighborhood, you want to make it memorable, especially if it's only for eight blocks. The ING New York City Marathon is a 26.2 monster race beginning at the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. The idea for this run is to race all five boroughs, and its prestige draws over 40,000 runners annually. Welcome to the Bronx! Welcome to the Bronx! The racers enter the South Bronx at the 20 mile marker. This area is sometimes commonly known as the Wall for its test of endurance. Organizers from Yes the Bronx, a nonprofit committed to running and health, decided to host this full day with music. As the human wave bears down over the Willis Avenue Bridge, the excitement in the crowd builds. This is where their bodies run out of all their electrolytes. They have nothing left except sheer guts. And they have to finish the last 6.2 miles on guts and we give them a lot of energy here. Let's give them some love from the South Bronx! It's a short dip into the Bronx. Actually, only eight blocks. Organizers of the New York City Marathon who mapped out this five borough course 35 years ago didn't feel the need to go further than these few blocks. It's only eight blocks. If it was up to me, it'd be 80 blocks or maybe more. We'd like them to run even deeper into the Bronx so we could see what a wonderful borough we have. This is a great place with great communities, great people, 1.4 million strong. For the residents in this neighborhood waiting on the sidelines, they make each street mean something. We're here to encourage these people to continue on because the Bronx is more than just eight blocks. This is just the beginning. We really want to establish the Borough of the Bronx as a host for all these citywide events. But we're going to start from this point. We're going to start to welcome these events. We're going to welcome these marathoners. We're going to let them know that the Bronx is here with open arms. And in the future, hopefully, they'll be spending more time throughout the borough neighborhoods. Welcome to the Bronx. Looking good. Keep it going. The Bronx knows how to plan a party. And dancing was everywhere on all the corners. Volunteers set up water tables and snacks to encourage those weary runners as they pass through the South Bronx. Everybody's having fun, everybody's respecting the runners, and you know, it's an ongoing thing. And on this day, something exceptional happened for the neighborhood. Zula Nesh Diba, a tiny Bronx resident, steals the whole show. A hometown girl living in a second floor walk up on West 195th Street places second in the elite women's division, winning over $100,000, wasting two hours, 23 minutes, 15 seconds. She trains here in the Bronx, she trains in Van Cortlandt Park, and she's one of the best female marathoners in the world. The most important asset that the borough has is the hearts of Bronx sites, and that's what she inspires. Back on the streets, the area was filled with high spirits from local runners who had friends and family waiting in the sidelines. I'm here for my cousin Bruce. He's raising funds for cancer awareness. Today I'm out here trying to support my cousin. So we came down here to give him some encouragement because we know that you start to get this far into the race, it starts to wear on you mentally. Here goes one of us. There you go, brother. Even though it's just a quick run, less than what, 100 meters that they come around, but at least they know that there's people that are walking with them. In the eight blocks, they can see that we are communities stretching all across the Bronx and we're proud of our borough, we're proud of our city, and I think it's wonderful to have so many people run here today and run through the Bronx. 